Hi, I'm Ross with Bridgetown Design in Lake Oswego, Oregon, and I'm here today to talk to you about radiant floor heat in residential architecture, specifically looking at the traditional high mass systems like Gypcrete and comparing that to one of the new products on the market, which would be the light, uh, lighter wood and aluminum sandwich panel system. Uh, now in the traditional Gypcrete system, two or more inches of lightweight concrete are poured around hydronic piping, which is stapled to a wood subfloor and the piping is connected to a manifold of, for zone control which is connected to a boiler for heating and the boiler can also provide domestic hot water. Being a high mass system it's the mass of the concrete that takes care of the even distribution of the heat in the space. Pipes, uh, the hydronic piping is often at 12 inches on center and so there is the potential for cold spots between the pipes uh, during the heat up and uh, heat up and cool down periods, uh, but when the concrete's at optimal temperature, heat distribution can be fairly even. One of the other benefits to the high mass system is it can also double as a solar heat sink if you're using passive solar to heat your home, uh, and the same thing can be true if you're using it to cool your home. It's a great energy sink. The lighter systems, the low mass system, which is a wood sandwich panel which replaces your structural flooring and includes a structural or an aluminum skin on top of the structural wood panel. Um, in this system, you can run much lower temperatures at the boiler because heat distribution is at the top of the system. There's no thermal mass to penetrate and it is closer to the finished flooring where you want your final temperatures. Now the aluminum skin helps to distribute the energy equally so that heat is felt equally throughout the space and piping can actually be on wider spacing because of the aluminum skin. The response time in the low mass system is much faster. In the high mass system, the floor can take two to four hours to warm up to room temperature or to the desired temperature, but in the low mass system it can be a 15 to 20 minute wait. Both of the both systems benefit from a high efficiency boiler and both systems, the systems can be mixed and both can be used as hybrid systems including wall, ceiling, or floor radiator panels uh, in places where an actual radiating floor is not appropriate.